unless something changes significantly with Rivian and Lucid, they will both go bankrupt. They're tracking to bankruptcy. Today, Rivian stock is one of the most watched tickers in the EV sector. This has been the case for a while, and many well-known industry experts, including Elon Musk, have warned Rivian that the path ahead may be difficult. Elon Musk has issued a statement regarding his forecast for the EV manufacturer, claiming that if they don't change their plans, they could be on the road to bankruptcy. What exactly is happening to Rivian? Is this prediction from Elon Musk true that Rivian is headed for bankruptcy? Elon Musk is a revolutionary individual with a net worth north of $100 billion. It's evident that the technology titan has no boundaries. Being the CEO of Tesla and SpaceX, this man has gained the respect of those in the tech industry as well as the automotive industry as someone with experience with both struggling and achieving ultimate success. Bringing Tesla to where they are now makes it even more clear why Elon Musk is someone who the public takes with high regard. Rivian is an EV manufacturer who's trying to give Tesla a run for its money, but it's struggling heavily to do so. Elon has been in a similar situation as Rivian when he was first building Tesla, making him very well aware of the hardship associated with owning an electric vehicle company. Today, we'll be diving deep into Rivian's hardships and their status. Let's find out if Rivian has a chance at success. In case you're not familiar, Rivian is a new EV manufacturer that started back in 2009. They make luxury electric trucks and are trying to make a name for themselves. So far, they have great reviews and even one EV of the year. However, it doesn't seem like it's going as smoothly as RJ Scarringe thought it would. With the steady decline of the Rivian stock, investors are concerned. The Tesla CEO stated in an interview posted to the Tesla owner Silicon Valley YouTube channel on Tuesday that Rivian will fail unless something dramatically changes. Elon says in a news snippet, it. I hope they can do something, but unless they drastically reduce their expenses, they will join the rest of the auto industry, with the exception of Tesla and Ford in the graveyard. A car company's demise isn't necessarily certain when it declares bankruptcy. Musk regularly notes that both Chrysler and General Motors declared bankruptcy in 2009. According to Musk, Rivian's problem is that their vehicles are too expensive to sell in the quantities required to offset its fixed costs. In response to supply chain problems and inflation, the company has increased its Prices. Starting prices for the 2022 R1T pickup and the 2022 R1S SUV, respectively, are currently $79,500 and $84,500. Later on, Rivian intends to market less expensive variants. According to Musk, car companies can get cornered financially by charging too much for their vehicles for consumers to afford. Musk added, this applies to any automotive manufacturer, really. And my suggestion to Rivian would be to slash costs immediately across the board, drastically, or they may experience more hardship. The sports automobile Roadster, the first Tesla model, cost more than $110,000 in 2008. Since then, Tesla has introduced more affordable versions, the most affordable of which being the 47,000 Model 3 car. Rivian and Lucid both began releasing their premier vehicles late last year to lengthy waiting lists of reservation holders after years of development. Both magnificent models have received high praise. However, both firms have had trouble increasing production and have been losing money. Snags in the global supply supply chain, according to some, are to blame. Rivian announced in March that it will only be able to build 25,000 vehicles this year, which is less than expected. The number of air cars Lucid would produce in 2022 has been reduced from 20,000 to 12 to 14,000. According to a recent Insider article, Lucid has resorted to purchasing parts from Amazon and deploying white collar staff to the production floor in order to deliver vehicles to customers. In line with a broader sell-off in the IT sector, the stock prices of both automakers have fallen by almost 70% this year. Tesla's stock price has dropped 43% so far this year. Last quarter, Rivian lost $1.5 billion, and its gross margins were noticeably negative. It will go bankrupt if it continues to lose money on the electric vehicles it sells. They must generate more money, which can be challenging in the absence of indications that the trend is reversing. For EV manufacturers, this type of financial hardship can be normal. As we know, Tesla Tesla saw very similar hardship to this when they were in developmental stages. Before getting the costs under control, Tesla was in the red and was dependent on seeking additional funds for a long period of time. The major distraction is that Rivian is carrying out this project on a much larger scale than Tesla. The automaker 
had a positive gross margin on the vehicles by the time Tesla started delivering thousands of them each quarter, but it was still in the red overall. Every vehicle that Rivian delivers still results in a loss. However, predicting disaster assumes that Rivian cannot reduce expenses by scaling back and lowering production costs. With over $16 billion in cash on hand at the conclusion of the last quarter, it begs the question of where this hardship is stemming from. In contrast to Tesla five years ago, it's on a downward track and needs to alter. To Musk's point, when Rivian launched the R1T pickup, which was slated to be the most cutting-edge truck on the market. The company entered the market several years ago. Deliveries began late in the previous year, and the truck did not disappoint. The build quality and the practicality of the trucks were significant enough to offer the R1T as an early promise. At the same time, Rivian is battling a dismal stock market performance, dealing with manufacturer growing pains, and finding out how to make the products affordable in the beginning. Charlie Mawoingi, the company's vice president of manufacturing, was recently let go after the corporation shuffled some of its leaders. This is a critical time for our growing business, all of which is happening in a very trying environment, CEO RJ Scaringe wrote in an email to staff. Although we're well positioned for long-term success, we must constantly assess our methods of operation. Frank Klein undertook the responsibilities of both his new position as manufacturing VP and his previous one as COO. For an EV startup, the modifications are not unusual, but previous incidences in Rivian's recent past have suggested that they're still going through teething pains. Rivian announced that finalized orders would not be impacted by a price increase for the R1T and the R1S vehicles in March. As a result of the price increase being applied to their automobiles, clients whose orders were placed but not completed went into a frenzy. Before turning around and honoring orders placed on or before March 1st, prices rose by at least 17%. Even though Rivian is considered to be one of his company's rivals, Musk still gave some advice when addressing the affordability threshold for making cars with Tesla owners Silicon Valley and others despite the company being in its early stages and enjoying significant financial assistance from supporters like Amazon. The affordability cutoff is crucial, according to Musk. To reach strong unit volumes, it must be a good value for the money and affordable. And this is where automakers can find themselves sort of cornered meaning if the cost of a car is so high that they have to raise the price of the car to the point where only a very small number of people can afford the car, no matter how desirable it is, when this happens, you're out of luck if you can't sell enough units to meet your fixed expenditures. When rumors of a second factory in the U.S. started to spread, Musk previously gave Rivian guidance. Rivian proceeded with plans to establish a plant in Georgia. Despite Musk's advice that they increase production at its first facility before committing to a second one, this decision has drawn criticism from a number of organizations. Musk acknowledges that more than one business will be required to continue the EV transition. Despite his desire for Tesla to be the industry leader, Musk's counsel might go unheeded, but Rivian is well aware that difficulties might persist during this expansion stage. Resilience could pay off and the business might someday turn a profit and rank among the top EV brands on the planet. Both Lucid and Rivian are concentrating on building up those products while cutting costs because they both have strong products that are generating buzz. Yes, it's something to watch, but Musk's Dune predictions are very similar to the doubter's predictions that he found very frustrating while Tesla was going through the same development stage. So what do you think about Elon's statement regarding Rivian? Do you think they'll be able to bounce back from this? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give us a like and subscribe to the channel as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.